What's going on guys and welcome back. This will be part 23 of the Ultimate Guide to Dark Souls 2 and today we're going to be covering all of the memories. Yep, so this is what you want to do before taking on Vendrick, sort of, because this is a good way of getting giant souls by doing uh -huh. the giant memories. So first thing we're going to do is go to Brightstone Cove because there is a memory in Freya's boss room. Now remember when you killed Freya there was that blue light behind her and when you picked up the soul from it it went red? Yeah, this is why. You need the Ashen Mist Heart so that you can access the Ancient Dragon memory. Um, and you can get the Ancient Dragon Soul. Now, there's no enemies in that memory, but it is a very, very beautiful memory just to witness. Yeah. Now, here is Navlan. Another invasion point for Navlan. So, there's only... There's one other in this episode for Navlan, and then the other two, you kind of go out your way to actually... Yeah, like, you would never naturally run into the other two after all these keep, unless you were... Just farming. Going, going about your business. Yeah, like you actually have to do something. So like we end up I'm sure we die here at some point. Yeah, because his hex just keeps on fucking yeah, going. He's dead and it just keeps happening. And then we get ganked by spiders, so try not to let that happen to you. Yeah, but that, that pretty much sums <coughs> up that pretty much sums it up. Yeah. But yeah, Navlan's dead, so that's so, that's the important thing. Cutting back. There we pick up our souls and on we go remember. Just so you guys know, these spiders are affected by alluring skulls. Not the ones with the giant thing on their back, but the actual many spiders. Like you can throw an alluring skeleton at the corner, and then you won't have to deal with them. Yeah, but so it was mainly his hex that was the main issue. Yeah, his hex was the problem. Like regardless of what we done there, there was no way to actually get yeah. it out other than stand still, heal, and then try to get out. So at this point now, we're not even going to bother fighting the spider. We're just going to try and get to the memory as quick as we can because it's free as uh, boss room we need to get to. Yeah, so um, we don't we don't really care about the enemies or anything. It's not really an issue for us at this stage. I mean, you can get there for, you can get there quicker than we did. You just put on the silver cat ring and just basically jump right down. So you can see the big fucking dragon that is uh, webbed to the ceiling. There is now a crystal. Yeah, I don't know why there's a crystal. Yeah. I think it's just to be like, look at me, something new. Yeah, essentially. But um, this is actually the ancient dragon. Like, the actual ancient dragon, not the one from Dragon Shrine, that's a fake. Yeah, it kind of proves how fucking strong Frey is. So here we are in the memory, and it's pretty fucking cool looking, but the only thing, the only thing in this area... ...is the ancient dragon soul, which you can make the curved dragon greatsword from. Yeah, and that's a, it's a good weapon, so... It's really good, actually. It's, um, it's basically a massive Murakumo that has a special attack. Yep. It's quite good. Um, and so, I mean, if you don't want that, you can just pop it for souls, whatever. But obviously, we keep all our souls, so. Yeah, if you don't want it, you can just pop it for souls. Who is it that you. Is it Strayed or Ornifex? I don't know. Um, uh, I'll check there, actually. So, right now, you know, we're just uh, running back. I should probably cut this particular footage out. It's fine, but... it's fine. Who gives a shit? Because, I mean, this is us just going back to the. Uh, back to the. the what do you call it? Back to Medulla? Yeah. Um, no wait, the Ancient Dragon Soul is not going to be on Ancient Dragon, so never mind. Um, soul, soul, soul. So we're back to Medulla, and then we're now from here going to warp to Force of the Fallen Giants. We'll just go to Cardinal Tower, because that's the central bonfire, really. Mm -hmm. And it was Ornifex, by the way, for the uh, Curved Dragon Greatsword. Okay, cool. Like the Ancient cool. Dragon Soul, or you pop it for 75,000. <laughs> not bad. That is the equivalent of two Soul of a Great Heroes. Yep. Okay. The biggest Soul packet in the game. So Two and a half, actually. <coughs> Sorry wow. about that. Jesus. So there's kind of like a slight order you want to do these. Um, well, there's an efficient in. order, and then there's the random order. Yeah. So we're gonna do it in the way that we find the most efficient. Of course, grabbing Freya's one first because it's the most out the way. Yeah, um, essentially. As well as there's really nothing to do in it. So I mean, it's, it's really fucking cool. Though. It's one of the most atmospheric places in Dark Souls 2. Yeah. It yeah. just everything is black. It is all dead. It's just so fucking cool. So, it's, we want to do this one first, because by doing this one first, it allows you to summon Ben Hart for the... Giant Lord? Yeah, which and is in another memory. To, we want to do that, because we want to complete his quest line. Exactly, so this is why we want to do this one first. So, to do it, you need to talk to him here, and then warp back to reset him to go into, into the actual the memory. memory. Yeah. So, you have to come here twice. Now, um, now, don't yeah. get me wrong, maybe by just going into the memory and going into the loading screen, that'll actually appear in the memory. However, as far as I'm aware, the wiki said not to do that, so we didn't want to take the risk. So now what we're doing is making our way back, making our way downtown, walking fast, faces past, and we're Ben Hart bound. Um, dun, that's dun, dun, probably dun. one of the worst possible lyrical choices I could have made <laughs> to try and like influence the video, but <laughs> yes. Point still stands, I made the joke, we're past the people, get over it. Okay, Going so back to the memory. Now, 
We, you can technically complete Benhart's quest in this video if you defeat the Giant Lord with him. However, he isn't very good. He dies a hell of a lot. He's not particularly great. For instance, um, on the test footage we had, it took like six tries because he kept dying before we even got to the Giant Lord. Who's that? By the way, you walk through the fog gate, you walk for about 15 seconds, Giant Lord's there. Benhart yeah. died within that 15 second fucking journey. Okay, so in this Giant Memory... So, I mean, if you do Benhart with the... If you do Ben, like if you do Ben Hart with the the Giant Lord here, then you can complete his quest by coming back here and talking to him. If you want to see how to do that, watch the Nishanda video. Yeah. But anyway, this ha this memory has a bunch of cool items. Now, when you're in a memory, you've got a five minute time limit, so you want to talk to Ben Hart now, and then he'll become a summon for the Giant Lord. Yep. And then you just want to do as much as you can before time runs out, so that that way when you come back, it'll be quicker. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to have to do the memory over and over to get the items that you want, so... Or you don't have to do the memory over and over because you keep missing a fucking jump. Yeah, the first time, the, like, the test footage that we done for this, it fucking took us 50 minutes to do everything we've done in this level, in this yeah. episode. Yeah, it's mainly because there is a drop which leads to... Um, Grandlands. Grandlands, which is a pain in the ass. If you miss it, you fall, you have to do it again, and for some reason I just kept missing it. Yeah. And it timed out, and then of course loading screens on console is very fucking long, so yeah. Hence why we cut them all out, so. Yeah. But yeah, so, um, right, so there's two fast contraptions here. You only want to use this one because the other one will spring a trap. Yeah, the one that's. There's like this one here, and then that springs a trap. That one there starts firing like shit at you, but there's an invisible wall next to it, so use it. Yeah. Get it. And of course, this is also trapped because Dark Souls. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out that any. There's a small chance that any trapped crate can be the one that explodes. Yeah. So, but it is always the one at the engraved gauntlet that always explodes. Yeah, apparently. That one is 100% always exploding. But who knows, I've never seen an exploding chest outside of the one next to the engraved gauntlet, yeah. so... That one always explodes, but the other ones do have a very small chance to. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I think we've got an armour set in that box. Um, probably, yeah. But, I mean, uh, yeah. the, items, the items at this point in the game aren't 100% like important to us. Um, I mean, there is the Blossom Kite Shield here, which is very good, because it's, it's just the green, uh, the, what is it called again? Is that in here? The Blossom Kite Shield? Yes, it's in here. Oh, well, you definitely want to get that. The Blossom yeah. Kite Shield is a shield that gives you stamina regen. Yeah, it's the Green Blossom Shield, basically. What, what was it the, called? The grass, grass Crest, crest. Yeah, Green Blossom is the consumable Grass Crest yeah. Shield. Now, once again, these are giants, so just do your best to kill them without getting hit. They're actually... They only take like maybe four hits maximum to actually. Bearing in mind, at this point, we're also a lot more powerful. We're also yeah. So hit that contraption to knock this thing down, and then try and we find rolling off, like rolling so that when you would finish your roll, you would be off the edge. So like, try and judge it so that as your roll finishes, you will be falling off the edge. Don't yeah. like roll off it onto the platform below. You need to roll so that when you stand up, you'll be falling. Because walking off sometimes gives you too much, either too much or too little forward momentum, and then you either fall off the front or the back of the, the plank. And so, it is, of course, a very difficult jump to make as well. You can't yeah. roll from the plank, you have to jump. So yeah, that is why this took us ages, because just trying to get in here was a pain in the ass. And it's only for the Grand Lance and a Bonfire aesthetic, so it's not even really worth it. Yeah. So there's some Wilted Dusk Herb, This should useful. be the Blossom Shield, I think. Oh wait, no, wait, never mind, never mind, the Blossom Shield, you're right, the Blossom Shield isn't this one, the Blossom Shield the one with Drummond, I think. Well, whatever, anyway, I think that was a soul vessel there, so you do yeah, want Yeah, so you do want that, that's, that's always handy. Um, now, we're just going to avoid as many of these giants as we possibly can, because they're a lot more hassle than what they're worth, really. Yeah, now, this area is especially great because there is a lot of big soul packets in it, so... Oh yeah, you know, tons of money. We want that. Yeah, and... Um, one thing of note in this area that we've only just noticed the now is that see all the enemies that are in armor, like your elite knights, your just your random swordsmen and that, they aren't actually hollow. Yeah. It's just it's just I mean it's it doesn't really matter in terms of how the game plays, it's just kinda cool. The it's fact cool. that it's they aren't hollow. Now something that doesn't make any sense to me is if this is a giant memory and it's in the past, then how the fuck does Ben Hart recognise you in it? I mean, for the same reason that you, when you kill the giant lord, you get the giant lord's soul, but when you kill the giant lord at the start of the game, when he's the last giant, you get the soul of a last giant, for the exact same reason, just because. And it's the same Because FromSoft can't keep a fucking story straight anymore, <laughs> that is why, because Miyazaki gave up, and so did B-Team. So, there we go, we get a first soul of a giant, and... Second soul of a giant. Oh, I mean, first soul of a giant from the memories. From the memories, yes, because the first soul of a giant we got was when we got the forgotten key in the gutter. Now, go watch that video if you haven't got 
the yeah. first giant soul because you want to get all five of them before we take on Vendrick so we can fuck with him even which is greater. in the next episode now we get yep. we get three giant souls in this one and in the next episode we take on the the ancient dragon to get the last giant soul and then Vendrick yep uh, so we're going to wrap up all bosses um, other than Dark Lurker because yep. that's a covenant and that'll be in this one video mm -hmm. so Here's another memory. This one's, I'd actually say, a little bit harder than the last one. There's more giants in this one. There's giant sorcerers as well as giant mage, as well as uh, giant warriors, as well as giants that have the clubs. This one's a little bit more of a clusterfuck. Like, this is more yeah. the giants are in charge of this memory. Now, in here, you'll meet an NPC called Captain Drummond. You want to come here and talk to him, because if you talk to him here, he'll become a summon for the last... The Giant Lord. Even though you can only get one summon for the Giant Lord, by the way. So if you're gonna do, if you're gonna use Benhart as a summon to complete his quest line, then you don't necessarily have to talk to Drummond. But um, if you do not care about Benhart and you want a summon who's better, then you could probably use Drummond. No. Um, but you can come back here and talk to him anyway, and you can still get his shit. Now, interestingly, if you talk to Drummond here, you don't need to summon him to get the Dranglek Helm. Yeah, you only have to kill the Giant Lord, and that was like the reason why it confused me because. I thought you just exhaust his dialogue and give you his helmet because I didn't realise because the wiki at one point said summoning him was a requirement but I've never summoned Drummond I just got his helmet it turns out I'd killed Giant Lord then came back here for the Blossom Shield so that's yeah. why now of course putting on Dark because all Giants are weak to Dark and we want to kill this one because there's items around the corner and we don't want him following us because then it's now, just a pain be careful with that one because he can just pop out and just do it Fuck tons worth of damage from smashing out through the wall. So. Yeah, it seems to be like the gravity of all the rocks coming at you might be a little yeah. bit more damaging than the actual giant himself. Now, we just run past these two guys because, again... More they have no drops, they, you don't get that many souls from it, they're not really worth the effort, plus, yeah, time's restricted. Yeah, exactly, we're, we're on a time constraint as well, so that's why we kind of want to just... We're also just going to ignore all the giants here as well, because, again, there's no point in killing shit if all it's going to do is give us some souls, and yeah. we're under a time limit. So you want to come up here and then jump over to this platform here. Yeah, because you don't want those giant mages being able to hit you. Plus, if you go too far to the right, you aggro another giant. It's basically a copy of the giant lord copy and pasted here. Yeah. Um, so and there's he the can blossom yeah, yeah, Here's the blossom kick. The blossom kick. So yeah, that guy there, you don't want to aggro him until you've got the blossom shield because he can lock you in and he can clip through the wall and he will fuck your day up. Now, what we just picked up there was the giant warrior club, which is one of the weapons with the highest physical attack in the game, and it's incredibly... Yeah, it's got one of the highest strength requirements in the game. Its yeah. attack damage is nowhere near as huge as fucking Velstat's chime. Uh, I found out, by the way, Velstat's chime is tied for the highest AR in the game. Huh. So, uh, with there we go. We've got sort of a great else. hero there, I think, and a yeah. bonfire aesthetic. So it's, yep. it's too quick to, you know... But, uh, I mean, the point is, you just need to see us pick it up. We don't really need to mention what it is or what Yeah, we need to show you where the item is, not what it is. And by now, you know what every item in the game does anyway. Yeah, the, uh, reading what the item does or looking it up on a Wikipedia. So, there we go. Picking up this rogue rouge or rogue water. Rogue water. If you don't know what that does, then look it up on a wiki. So, there's a, there's a giant coming up here. So, yeah, buff here because like, there's an item at the top here that's intended to be like, oh, I'll just get this item and then this fucker smashes you. Yeah. So... We're just going to do our best because this is that exact copy of the guy that, the guys that are in the Black Gulch, so we know their hitboxes are stupid. Yeah, so be careful because they can do a jump attack, jump over you, hit the ground in front of them and still smash you behind yeah. them. So that was an old Radiant Life gem that you would have risked your life for there and it could have knocked you. Like They actually have the potential to knock you off the other side. So we've got more big, more big souls as well. Yeah. And then we've got another giant soul. So we one are more. going to now do the last giant memory, which is the giant lord one. Yep. And after that, we're going to come back here and talk to Drummond to get the dragon like helm. Yep. And of course, after you've done this, if you use Benhart as a summon for this boss, you can go speak to Benhart up at the memory we went in first of all, up next to the pursuer, and you can get his armor and shit off of him there. Now, but unlike how we technically could have done Lucatil's quest just after the rotten, we didn't then just go and speak to Luke Teal immediately after. Yeah, we waited until it naturally took us there. Of course, unfortunately, nothing naturally takes you back up to the Pursuer's platform, so that's why we left it until the next video. Yeah. Because we wanted to show you if you didn't use Ben Hart for the Giant Lord, you can use him for Nishandra instead. And we just basically show you that option too, so that you basically know that yeah. you can do it after Nishandra as well. But just to reiterate, you can get Ben Hart stuff here if you defeat him with the Giant Lord. Because that's how that's if us you defeat the Giant Lord with him. Yeah. Because that's it, us done him with the congregation, with Mirror Knight, and then with Giant Lord, he survived three of the four boss fights, so you can just go back to him, talk to him, and he'll give you stuff. Mm-hmm. 
And also, by the way, if you complete, <coughs> if you complete Ben Hart's quest line, he's available as a summon in the DLC for Alana. Oh yeah, that's a thing. But we'll mention that when we get there. Yeah, DLC is completely inconsequential to the rest of the game, so who gives a fuck? So now what we're doing is we're stacking on some armor. Now we're going to use the Great Sword for some reason, even though the Giant Lord is weak to dark. So your dark weapon halberd would be the better option without a doubt. Yeah, especially when we used a halberd. Um, basically, we had to record some footage mm -hmm. today that we forgot to do. And so we, we done it solo with a halberd. And it was easier, if anything. Oh yeah, it was ten times easier. I think the only reason why I used the great sword there is because I wanted to get to a particular spot in the bridge quicker, but I mean you can get there even if you're at seventy yeah. percent equipment load, you can get there, it's no problem. You just need to run past and stand behind the first giant on the right. So that some the other summon there you saw, that was Drummond, but mm -hmm. again, we're not summoning him, uh, we're just summoning Ben Hart. So now the original intent, the intent of this is to grab every item, get to the giant lord, fuck him up, and then get out here in one fell swoop. Now the issue is, is that again, Ben Hart is one of those NPCs where we think that he actually makes the fight in general harder because yeah. the giant lord is incredibly easy to cheese in the sense that he's got a really predictable attack set, but with Ben Hart being there, he becomes quite unpredictable. And so yeah, yeah you don't want to stand here. By the way, you could have just picked that there life gem up there. Yeah, you could have picked that up after you defeated the, 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 the giant. See when you see us uh, when you see us take on the giant solo, you'll actually see the spot that I stand in. Which yeah. see the spot you stand in. The giant lord doesn't aggro on you. You're safe from the fire bombs. You can buff. You can heal. You can do whatever you want in that one spot, and then you can rush the giant, get it without taking any damage at all. Yeah. So slightly ignore this footage slightly. Yeah. The method the method to get to the giant is wrong, but I mean it's. It's Ben Hart. Really, what we're looking to do here is get to the giant and lay down as much damage as we can before Ben Hart gets there, because we want to try and kill the giant before Ben Hart has a chance to die. Yeah. Because he dies so fucking quickly in this and stage. And he can take a lot of damage. Yeah. So. I mean, maybe what you could do is use Bountiful Sunlight. Uh. Not Bountiful Sunlight, Soothing Sunlight, and give him health regen per second and hope he survives. This is where you want to stand, by the way. That little spot right there is where you wanted to be. Now, all this smoke and shit and bang, so yep. you kind of want to be careful. Now, we picked up a Radiant Life Gem, we picked up a Fire Seed earlier, and this is the third item in here where you can pick up a... Bonfire Aesthetic. Salix? Uh, I believe so. Okay, it's, either a, it's either a Bonfire Aesthetic or it's a Fire Seed and you've got the item the wrong way around. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we're using Dark Weapon on the Greatsword. Um, even though we should just use the Dark Halberd and went to town on him because we've done a lot more damage in the video when we've done it solo. Of yeah. course, the damage is also mitigated by the fact that we have a summon. And as you can see, Ben Hart's not even shown up to fight. Ben Hart's still fighting giants or something way at the start of the bridge, which is a real problem with Ben Hart. Yeah. That's why we're just trying to get in there, kill the giant as quickly as we fucking can. Because you can see Ben Hart's health is already like less than half. He's at like a third of his health, and that's him just made it here because he can't get through the fucking fire without almost killing himself. And he's not even doing that much damage either, so I mean, you know. I mean, he's great for Congregation, I guess, he's great for Mirror Knight. I mean, you could take in a fucking, I don't, you could take in a summon that has no arms, no legs, or even a weapon, and it'll be great for Congregation. <laughs> you could beat the Congregation with using Ben Hart as a weapon, and it'll be great. <laughs> so we get the Giant Lord Soul and the Giant's Kinship. So that's the Fire Seed, the Bonfire Aesthetic was at the start. So where these souls are was where that Radiant Life Gem is, which you could have just gotten after you've beaten the Giant Lord. I know, so. but I'm stubborn. Yeah. So now with the giant soul, the giant lord soul, you can get repel from Strayed. Yeah, repel is a hex, it requires three slots, it's got quite high requirements, but a cool thing we found about repel is, if you take repel down to 10 intelligence and 10 faith, it still blocks 100% damage. Yeah. So you can use it at 10, 10 and it has no effect on how effective the spell is, even though when you reduce the stats, it should be worse. Like when you reduce a buff, it reduces the duration of it. Yeah. Um, something like that. This is the spot, by the way. Yeah. Exactly. Stand so you can here. see here, I'm green blossoming. I don't, this is like, this is like the footage we got today. So I don't actually have the stats to use dark weapon. So what I'm using instead is dark pine resin. So we're just going to show you guys, you'll do more damage than this because you have a dark infused halberd with dark weapon. Yeah. But look at this in between his legs, heavy attack. And I show you this to that he doesn't even hit me here. This is flawless. Yeah, so 
basically when it comes to the giant there is like a, a very you probably know it by now but basically he can attack he does like a swing attack in front of him and a swing attack behind him so now, i'm just baiting these out because you just go between his legs as soon as he goes to swing and then you, you're fine now you can the tell is that he'll lift his heel up slightly yeah like that, there, and, then, and then he went and swung back when he when he lifts his heel up jump through his legs and then that's you you just you'll never have yeah. a problem with the giant lord ever again now as you can see ben hart did fuck this pattern up because the giant lord could attack ben hart you the giant lord would swing his sword more often than he would go for the stomp or than he would go for you so like at this point i could have killed him in one more hit yeah fair enough but what i'm going to do now is um tony asked me to show the method a little bit more and of course show you fighting him up there he is quite easy to dodge um you can leave the dodging really late as you'll see right now um this next attack should have cleaved me in two and i'm fine Something that his sword was inside me. me. You can leave the giant lord quite late, <coughs> and, and of course, fighting him up here is kind of cool because then you're like sort of in a more higher <laughs> ground, and you can sort of like, I am the last noble warrior of my kind, and whatever. So, so we're buffing our weapon here because Navlan shows up when we come out of the memory, not yeah, when he we shows go in. up. He shows up randomly, like in this doorway. It yeah. just takes a bit of time, so we actually have time to rest at the bonfire and shit, get all your estus back, and then Navlan will pop out and be like, ooga booga booga, and they just fuck him up. This is a good reason to use the greatsword actually, because Navlan stuns really easily and the greatsword is quite high damage even. Yeah, you take him out in a single combo here, so bang, bang. Yeah, like Navlan has quite good magic resistance, so the greatsword's just pure raw physical damage is amazing at this stage. Yeah, so one last item in Forest of the Fallen Giants you can only get from here and it's a Twinkling Titanite on this ledge. Yep. So that's that sells everything for, in Forest of, the Forest of the Fallen Giants. Now we're going to go back and talk to Drummond. One more loading screen cut out. I mean, oh my god, the amount of loading screens I've had to cut out for this video. You better fucking appreciate that. There's this about shit. 45 different clip segments. <laughs> yeah. Not even joking, guys. About 45 different clip segments staring me in the face, and I just don't know which one is which. So, this is us back at Cardinal Tower. Yep. So, um, I believe at this point we're going to go back to Drummond, get his helmet, and. Um, I mean, at this point as well, you could go and speak to Ben Hart up at the Pursuer platform and get yeah, his armor if you wanted would, this to. This would be that point. Provided he survived the Giant Lord fight, like, like every, um, that's that's something we done, by the way, is like, we didn't do this fight over and over and over again because Ben Hart died. We didn't, like, start again or anything like that. All we did was homeward bone out and go, basically go back, summon yep. Ben Hart again, do it again. That's all we did. That's all we done constantly because there is no point in continuing the fight when the objective is to keep Ben Hart alive. There is no point in continuing the fight after he's dead. Yeah. Now, remember, with Drummond, all you need to do is talk to him beforehand, beat the giant, and then talk to him again. You don't even need to chances talk to him beforehand. Are, yeah, chances are you just need to beat the giant and then talk to him. No, you do. You just beat the giant and then talk to him. If you talk to him beforehand, that's how you get him as a summon, but you just talk to him after the yeah, giant's beat him. And he's yeah. like, here, have my helmet. You're like, thanks, this thing looks like shit. Yeah, good point to mention that. If you talk to him beforehand, that's how you get him as a summon. So if you haven't spoke to Ben Hart and you want a summon for the giant lord for some unfathomable reason, that's how you get one. Yeah, I mean, both are pretty useless. So that's us. We've got the Dragon Lake Helm, so that's us now. But the Dragon Lake Helm seems sort of oriental, really, and look like it appeals like something that a Shogun would wear or something like that because it has like a face grail and it's like all. Yeah. It's just, it just looks cool if you like assign it to some sort of like Eastern build, like maybe a Shiva build, something like that. Who knows? Because he has like little grill faceplate. So there's another thing that is related to the Giant Lord, which is in Dragon Lake Castle. So basically, once you've defeated the Giant Lord, uh, I've no idea who the fuck figured this out because who the hell would connect these two NPCs? But anyway, I mean it is in the guide, but whatever. Anyway, you come up here and then you go and speak to Welliger. Yep. And he'll that give ghost you, guy. Yeah, and he'll give you two pretty decent items actually. Um. Yeah. I mean, you can't complain about free stuff, and very rarely can you thank someone for free stuff in this game. Yeah. Exactly. Because it's like, oh, thanks, Ben Hart. You gave me your sword that has no scaling. <laughs> What's that? 400 damage, you say? Oh, well, I guess my 700 damage halberd is just useless <laughs> now. Fucking hell. You think FromSoft would make quest rewards worth it? You like, think? all the time? Uh, they the seem to have a knack for not doing that. Ben Hart's armour is good, at the very least. I love Ben Hart's armour, it just looks balling. So anyway, you come up, talk to Welliger, and because he defeated the Giant Lord, or Last Giant, well, I mean, obviously Giant Lord, but... Don't know why it would make a difference to him. He will give you the Spada Opera and the Royal Dirk. Spada Opera being one of the best scaling decks rapiers available. Yep. And the Royal Dirk is actually a very quick dagger and its damage is reasonably high. For, in fact, for a dagger, its damage is quite high. Um, 
power stance, the combo is insane. You see when you power stance the Royal Dirk? L1, so you just go bang bang, and then you just hit R1, and it's just click, and then you go L1 again. Yeah. It's really, really fucking quick. So now, obviously, it takes us back to Dranglek. We're back in Majula, and we're going to level up. Now, there's more to this video. Now, the reason we left it out to this point is because this is where you would naturally come back to this area. To Forest of the Fallen Giants, yeah. After getting the Iron Key and Iron Key. Yeah, and this was recorded yeah. today off of a different build from the Giant Lord footage because this one had already killed the Giant Lord, so I'm using a Roaring Halberd. But um, yeah, the whole methodology behind this one is put on a bow, get as many poison arrows as you can, which by the way, you can get unlimited from Gavalan now in Doors of Faris, and you're gonna wanna snipe these fucking guys. I couldn't figure out how to aim the bow because it was in the left hand and not the right, so it just wasn't working. But um, you'll see me in a second, I switched to poison arrows because there's no point in using anything other yeah. than that. Now, the now, these salamanders are actually a massive pain in the ass, and generally we would they're, they're really quite tanky and durable, so really... They've got a lot of health as well. A lot of it. Yeah, this is where you would naturally come to do this. You wouldn't want to do this after you pick up the Iron Key from Iron Key anyway. Like, yeah, this is something not. you would want to leave to way back. Like, Especially before anything. you get Poison Arrows. At least for us. I mean, obviously if you're experienced in the game, it doesn't matter. You'll just do whatever you want. Yeah. But this is where we suggest fact, if you're a new Even player. from an experienced point of view, I'd still rather wait until at least after Doors of Faris so I can get unlimited Poison Arrows anyway. Yeah, Poison's cheesy and all that, but I mean, it's the best way to do it. There is no debating that there is a better way to take out things with yeah. this much HP. It's poison. Now, the it's a woman's weapon, but it's poison. <laughs> it wins. Now, the salamander that we're shooting at at this point is the one that is in front of the fire longsword that we got back in episode like. Yeah, like he's two. Like when you go down that cave. Um, there's like the sort of little rock bump and then there's the hole in the grating that you can't actually get through. Yeah, this is the other side of it. Yeah, so the if this one is giving you a problem here, you can go back around there and just shoot him from the fire longsword side. Yeah, and just so you guys know as well, while we're on the subject of the uh, fire lizards, uh, the salamanders can drop crack red eye orb, which is quite common. You'll see us pick up a few in this actually. They can drop the fireball pyromancy, the fire orb pyromancy, and the great fireball pyromancy. So if you want more of them, farm these guys because they all respawn. Yeah, uh, so once you've killed this guy, remember you need to watch out for the other the one on the left that just yeah. appears out of nowhere and he's like kickaboo because if all of them start wailing on you with these fucking fireballs you're gonna have a bad day now chances this we are a much higher level in this video than we are in the actual guide that we recorded a few months ago yeah this is a build that i've played with extensively yeah so you will probably be taking maybe a bit more damage than what we are so i am using the same upgraded kit though i am using like maxed out dranglyak armor which you will probably have by now if you do a little bit of farming or if you go through Dragon's Shrine or Dragon's Area you'll probably have enough Titanite to upgrade it all to a reasonable level. So I'm not that much better off but I am definitely a little bit better off. Now I personally hate fighting these guys toe to toe with a weapon. But so. that's just, that, that was really just to show you the method of just getting next to their side. It's the same as the way you fight the covet steam and get in behind his arms and then just stay there. Yeah. Now those cracked red eye orbs are not a drop, they're actually in here. Yeah. And this is the drop. Oh no, it's not it's a drop. Rebel's Great Shield. That yeah. is the uh, is that not a, a fan mage? No, the fan mage shield was the wicked eye shield. But yeah, yeah. that's the fire longsword cave, as you can tell by the ground being on fire. Yeah. But, um, of course, because this is a build I played with, I didn't actually grab the Fire Longsword because this, I just didn't feel yeah. like it. So now, this guy here is a pain in the ass. You can't actually get by him. That's the reason why you cannot run through this area. Like, instinct says, fuck these guys, I'll just run past, I'll grab everything. You cannot get by him. But sometimes you can, it just depends on his angle, but most of the times his angle is a place where you can't get past him. We wouldn't be able to get past him here because he's, like, square on and his fucking stupid, like... Yeah. Cheekbone things are in the way. Now, here's another issue, is that if you come up to fight him front on, he can just, just spam fireballs at you, and you can't really dodge them at this yeah. stage. The second and third one, anyway, like, I have 105 adaptability here, so I have, like, as many iframes as I'm willing to put levels into. Yeah. Um, and at this point, you cannot dodge the second and third one in combination, because the second one and third one come out much quicker. Like, there's a shorter... Um, gap in time between the second and third than there is between the first and second. It's like boom, boom, boom. Now, there is a slightly interesting thing about this guy, which we'll come to later just on. a little bit later, yeah. But we are just going to angle it so we can just launch arrows at him and he can't get us. So yeah, that's just what we're going to do. because even if he fired, it's fine. He'd hit the wall. So obviously, if you don't care about those two cracked red eye orbs or rebel's great shield, you don't need to come down this way. And there is another, another way of doing this, which yeah. we'll show you. 
Now, there are a few more fire. There's two more fire lizards up here, so that means there's five salamanders in no, total. No, 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 there's more. four salamanders in total, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, there's only one more up here. And this one you could snipe from up top. Yeah. No, we we'll show you later one. on. Yeah, we, we'll show you in like just a few, just a few seconds. Yeah, I mean, you'll see, on. you'll see. But so uh, again, we're just going to use our um, poison arrows, of course. I'm going to poison them, and then because I've got plenty of iron arrows, I'm just going to fire iron, iron, a few iron arrows at them, and between poisons, um, and this is the you stand here and you're safe. Like where I'm standing right now, you're safe because like the way it ridges in front of you, it seems like you won't take damage. Now you can take a hit. Don't get me wrong, I take a hit towards the end of this, but. It's like, I'm fine. Yeah, I mean, but the issue is, what changed? Nothing changed, it's just RNGs at yeah. work. This is proof that all Dark Souls is, is RNG. <laughs> when it comes to enemies, when they hit you and when they don't. Like, for instance, see, I've been fighting bosses well, in NG plus seven. move, and he still gets you. Just... Yeah, NG plus seven, right? Um, a boss missed me just purely for the sake of, just because it did. <laughs> like, as in, the sword went through the center of my body, <laughs> and it missed just because it did. So, those red eye orbs there, now don't fall down those holes. Those are dead drops. Um, just so you guys know as well, you can tell you've killed them all when all the fire goes out. Yeah, weird that. So anyway, you pick up, a, you can get a fire drake stone there. We've got loads of them. So I have maxed them out because you. Know. So there's a hot, there's the hot ring, which would have actually been helpful at this area, I guess. Now yep. there's a large soul there, and this is and that's a drop. That's a cracked red eye drop from the salamander. Now this is kind of what we came down for, I suppose. Um, this is the fire drake stone. Flame, flame quartz, quartz ring. ring sorry. Now, ish, funnily enough, that's the Flame Quartz Ring plus one, but you can farm the Flame Quartz Ring plus two off the Dragons and Dragons area. Yep. I just realised that the only item that we cannot acquire through natural progression, there's two. We cannot get we cannot get Hidden Weapon, and we cannot get Lingering Dragon Crest Ring plus two. Because uh, that's from the oh, Stone Covenant, isn't it? What, Lingering Dragon Crest Ring? Yeah. No, Lingering Dragon Crest Ring plus two, you get that for defeating a thousand red phantoms. Yeah. Online only. Okay. Or... You need to do like the NPC invasions a thousand times, so fuck that. But yeah, that's that's just a stupid way to get that ring. You can farm the plus one from the desert sorceress, so that's fine. Yeah, so you can kill this lizard from up here. Now yeah. we say this lizard because for some fucking reason the other one doesn't show up until you literally hit the ground next to it and move close. Yeah, because like I'm looking for it and I'm like, where the fuck is it? Because I couldn't see it and I realised right if I go up over the other side because it should be like where this lizard's facing it should be over there so I'm like maybe it's over there no it's, it's disappeared it's gone there's even a point where I do a running plunging attack off and I'm like maybe I'll hit it and I land and then two seconds later it just goes boop I'm alive so maybe it's gone is, maybe this is just a glitch in our game like we thought it didn't no because it happened three times it's oh yeah, yeah yeah we thought it just didn't respawn maybe so I'm like yeah I'll kill this one then I'll drop down and then yeah we'll see what happens and no it turns out that one it actually does exist it's just invisible Maybe it's under the ground and they forgot to add in a burrowing out animation. Who knows? All we know is it's fucking bullshit. Yeah. So. So once it's finally dead, we should probably have fast forwarded this bit, but I mean, it's a pretty short video anyway. So. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's not as if it's the lizards. You probably finished this bit and got everything you wanted anyway. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so like, this doesn't really make a lot of sense to us anyway, like yeah. why these lizards are even here. So obviously there is a, another way of getting down there. Again, if you don't care about the Rebel's Great Shield, which I guess you probably <laughs> don't even really need to because... It's a quite humorous way to get down here, and that is that if you get the lizards down to low health, from the other side, you just run and jump and plunge attack onto that lizard because it has a, it's one of the very few enemies in the game that has a plunging animation, yeah. so you don't actually take that much damage from the drop, yeah. and you can survive it. So I'm just putting on the silver cat ring and the uh, the Sanctum, Sanctum Night Leggings because they reduce fall damage. And look, this is us we're shooting at where the lizard should be. No damage. Non-existent. The lizard does not exist. And yep. Here we go. Boom, there it is. Yeah, so we don't know what the fuck is causing that and then we just die, but fuck it, who cares? I mean, well, I mean, it's stealth lizard. Alright guys, so just one more major thing to note here is the souls you have on you do not spend. Um, and don't pop the soul packets. That's if you're gonna... If you're following the guide to the letter, like if you're using if you're following us like down to the very fucking every level we put in, then do not like don't spend the souls you've got. We're gonna need them for the next episode where we take on the ancient dragon. Um, there's a lot of stuff we have to upgrade, there's a lot of stuff we have to get, so just trust us guys. That video is going to go up the same day as this one, just so you guys aren't waiting. But yeah, that is that is what we're going to do next episode, is spend our souls smart. Yeah. And on exactly what we need and nothing more. 
So, you, you know the drill for the whole end bit, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, last blah, blah. episode, next episode, donation, view, comment, subscribe, like, whatever you want to do. Facebook, Twitter, on screen, Twitch, right there. But yeah, we'll let you guys get to the next episode where you can see how we take out the ancient dragon using not the foot technique. Yeah, B basically this is the maybe slightly more more reliable but more time consuming way, yeah. what do you think? But anyway, well, you can actually probably fucking see what we're doing. How bullshit an OP it is, but yeah, we'll see you guys next episode. Right, bye.